Check, check. Welcome to Deck Check, the first and only unscripted, unsupervised, unhinged 10 minute test to grip off today. We're going back in. We're going back in. I find the new trap trick support so interesting that I'm just gonna keep running builds of them until I die now. This is this is what deck check is now. There, there's no other decks, it's just trap tricks. Today we're gonna do something a little bit more interesting with King Soyjack's favorite tuxedo wearing plants, and that is we're going to be doing a more uh, streamlined combo line with them that involves a Roma Seraphi Jasmine tributing Rika Queen Strena so we can end on Hyperiton and Regulus consistently. Uh, this seems a little bit extraneous, but at the same time, you still can end on some of the normal trap tricks uh, end board cards like Rafflesia and your trap holes very, very consistently to some degree. Uh, and I, I would like to shout out YGOPD for um, being one of the first YouTubers I've seen to work with this concept. They're also experimenting with Ancient Fairy Dragon as a way to get to the Therion field spell by popping the trap tricks field spell Orchard. Or Trap Trip Garden, actually, it's called. Uh, we gotta use the American names now. Alright. Alright, Squiddy. Let's see what you got. Um... This works. We're gonna grab... I think... It doesn't really matter. None of this matters. make this thing summon shade break because we have a clear graveyard now we're gonna go maybe we should have set the whole Taya and then chained it so that we could summon Dianea here and use the effect but I don't think it's that big of a deal I'm gonna pitch Grave Diggers. Now we're going to make Jasmine with these two. Make Strena with these two. Use Strena's effects. Detaching the Dianea so we can add back the Dianea for next turn. Jasmine, sack off the Strena to summon Liliborea. And Strena effect is going to let us summon Hyperiton. Going to use Liliborea. And since we don't have a spell we can activate this turn, we might as, well, might as well use Hyperits in here. And since we already have the Regulus, we can get Cross instead. And now we're going to go Regulus. And now we have... Basically, four Negates. All... All pretty much, we got three monster negates. One of them could be a banish instead of a negate, and then one that's an omni. Alright. Yeah, you missed the deck check spam. We had to do a new one. Yeah, we had to use uh, Jaxalem Yup instead of the clapping emoji. We also talked about um, King Soyjack. But if I'm going to use this footage, I should probably stop talking about that right now. Alright, they're thinking for a long time. They are on... 53 cards. Couldn't think of 7 more. Alright. Thank you, Stove. I really appreciate it. They're really thinking this one over. They they don't know. Ooh. Zalamander Catalyzer with that thing. Um Alright, so what we can, what we can do is we let them do this. 
and then we just banish the Cerule. We just negate and banish the Cerule with cross. Oh no, we can only do one. We just banish it. Ah, cross. I forgot it was if you have uh, our, our gyro system. I thought for some reason it was if you control a thing, equipped with a thing. But now this gets um, Cerule out of rotation, so they can't even... Unless... I think... Parl can summon from Banish, but I don't quite recall. Ash that Mothman, that's a good idea. They pitched the Mothman. Um, I think it should Regulus the Mothman. Well, there's Garden, but we... Probably need the Dianea more. They're pitching Nessie. I could be negating some of this shit, but I, I don't know. I feel like I gotta be a bit more careful with my negates here. I disagree. You should lose. That's true. Alright, so they're going to summon the Bigfoot, which is annoying because now they can just attack over the uh, Sacred Tree Beast. If they had just, like, discarded the Bigfoot, we could have just negated it and then at least we keep the, the, the Tree FD. But now this is annoying. Uh, if, they, if they go to battle phase, at least we don't lose. And then we have, like, a lot of shit left to do. Like, we still have Regulus and Nightmare. And then... If we know that we're going to use Nightmare, we can, at any point, summon back the Sarah. So that when we activate night, uh, Nightmare, we get the uh, Pudika from deck. Ogo Pogo. We're like all in. We're all in on this. What? What the fuck? Lucent. Lucent. Netherlord of Darkworld. There's no shot. So it just summons itself. It's 24. I don't really care. Folks. What if they, like, make Apollo here? No, they're just gonna attack over the thing. And then I guess they can also attack over the Jasmine, which, you know, whatever. We don't really need the Jasmine for anything else. Now in main phase two, we can summon back the Sarah. We can safely do that because uh, the Zalamander no longer contests it. They're thinking this through. Um, I forget if they know the Nightmare. I'm pretty sure they do. Do they? I can't recall. Looking back on it, um, <laughs> while we're talking about this, we really should have kept the Gravedigger. We should have gone for that instead of the, the Nightmare. Is that fucking Lucent? Yeah, we're, like, we're just skipping over it. We don't, I don't, I don't want to know why that's here. Draglubion. We're, we're actually Draglubing. Um, 
All right, so that's going to activate very soon. So that tells me I should use this now so that I can Nightmare the Dreglubion, activate Sarah, summon Pudika, banish, I guess, the Zalamander, because that could be a Dugaris material. Oh, see, here's the problem with Pudika, though, is that uh, during the next standby phase, they go, they get to summon back the Cerulean. <laughs> That's actually really annoying. Uh, I guess we have Regulus to negate that effect. So we're not too bad. If we don't acknowledge the Lucent, it can't hurt us. Lucent ain't bad, gets any fiend from decks, there are combos with it. My problem with it is why are you, like, why would you, because the only way to, to do that is to use Ceruli. And I don't know why you're using your Cerulee discard on anything other than, like, I guess, uh, Zelda. Unless you're trying to do some weird combo. The DDD rank 6 is a pretty good argument, though. I understand like that, I guess. Like, seeing it, see, like, if Lucent is just, um, a level 6 Silva, like, okay, I get it now. You have made me understood it. You have made me understand it. Fuck. Okay, so they're just summoning back the Zalamander. They're like, yeah, I don't know. Do this. Get Romelio. That activates. Activates Sarah. Get Altea. Um, what do we want to do? Yeah, I guess access code is just game here, right? I forgot that this card is just good in other decks that aren't Math Mech. We've been playing Math Mech a lot recently. <laughs> no, no, we don't need we don't need the jammer. We don't need that. No jammer, we don't need it. I gotta take the cooldown off of that. It's actually very funny if people just spam it. I, did, I thought for I thought it would be annoying. It, it actually is kind of funny. All right, uh, that was kind of that was that was kind of clean. It was actually a pretty good game. We have a lot of really good games against Dark World. Dark World's a really fun deck to play against. As long as you're not getting style on. I think Emperor Stove is right about this one. I like the part where we won. Uh, this deck, I think, is interesting, but isn't really that much better than your normal Trap Tricks board. It doesn't really present that much, like, more meaningful interaction. Uh, it does give you negates, which normal Trap Tricks decks don't always have. Um, I don't think you really need to put this many extraneous cards in your deck to accomplish that, though. Uh, maybe, like, Bo Lily and Regulus are okay, but I'm not sure that this is necessarily the right route to take it. It was a fun experiment, though, and I did enjoy playing it. And if you enjoyed watching, uh, feel free to subscribe. We are very close to 3,000, and you already know what's coming when when we hit 3,000. We're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do a little dance, guys. We're gonna do a little dance. We're gonna do a little dance. We might even wear a tuxedo.